This is a debit card I got for my kids, and here's why. All right, so welcome back. First thing I wanna say is when I first did an unboxing of the Apple card, I'll go ahead and link it here if you haven't checked it out. I never thought I would be doing a video on an actual credit card, and now I am doing a video on a second card. Um, but I wanna talk a little bit about the benefits and why I decided to get my kids a debit card. The primary reason is I want them to understand the value of money and I want them to be financially responsible. So before you comment, yes, you don't need a debit card for that. You could do that with cash. Just hear me out. So just a couple months ago, we were at a store and we were looking to buy something and I was kind of on the fence of, do I, do I really want to buy it or do I not want it? And my son goes, dad, why don't you just buy it on your credit card? And I'm like, well, I don't want to use my credit card because then I still have to pay for it. He goes, you have to pay for it? And so he had no concept of, he's by the way, eight now. So he has no concept of knowing what a credit card is. He thought that you simply just go and keep your credit card, you buy what you wanna buy and that was it. So I explained to him, of course, you know, how credit cards work and how interest rate works and things like that. It's basically kind of like a loan until you pay it off. And if you don't pay it off, you charge, you can charge interest. So that kind of sparked an interest of, you know, how do we get them to understand what a credit card, debit card is and how to be financially responsible. Now, the second part of this is my kids, they are they all receive an allowance on a monthly basis. So they do have chores that are assigned, and if they complete the chores, they get an allowance paid each month. And we thought, you know what, what a great idea it would be to actually use a debit card. This is by Greenlight, uh, where I, as a parent, have access to this app where I can go ahead and assign allowances and chores and making sure that they complete the chores and also get paid for it through their app. So there's two versions. There's a parent app and there is a child app. It's technically the same thing, but when you log in, you create two different accounts, one for the parent and one for the child. And what they're able to do in this app is, let's just take a look. I'll go ahead and pop it up here. So once you're in the app, you have four different categories on top. You've got your spend, your saving, your donation, and your earn. So in these four categories, you have some subcategories. So for example, in your spend, you have uh, different options to give your kids money to spend anywhere they want. That way they can go to anywhere, MasterCard accepted, and they can go ahead and use that as a form of payment. Other categories that you can assign it to is ATM, gas station, restaurants, and online gaming, or you can go ahead and add a specific category if you wanted to. Now what that allows you to do is, let's just say for example, you've got $10 in a uh, restaurant. So if you've got kids or teenagers that are going out to eat, you can allocate a certain amount of money to be spent only at restaurants per category. That's kind of nice. For my kids, they're young, they're, you know, they're, they're not going to be going out anywhere alone yet. So for the most part, they use a debit card when they're with us shopping. But if you've got teenagers or older kids that are more independent and are going to be going out, you can go ahead and specify which category you want to assign money to and how they can spend it if they're not truly independently financially responsible yet. So full disclosure. All right, so next category is your savings. Uh, you can go ahead and save it toward a future purchase or just in general have a, a normal savings. So just to be clear too, this is technically just on an app. This is not like an actual financial institution like a bank or a credit union. This is all simply on the app where you can basically allocate money in different categories. So in savings, uh, the way my son has it set up is where he gets a monthly allowance. Actually, we divide it up into like bi-weekly pays. So he gets a certain portion bi-weekly and adds up to the total monthly allowance. But he wants it to be where I give him a certain amount and one amount goes to anywhere spend, anywhere category, and the second amount goes into his savings automatically. So we taught him, technically, you know, you should be saving one third of your income just as a savings. So right now he has that set up to where he gets that money in his savings. The next category is to give. Uh, they can put a certain amount of money in here to be able to use for charitable donations uh, and things like that, which is very important. and. That's something that's going to be next for my kids to be able to teach them to be able to donate uh, and things like that on the app. The last category is earn. This is where basically you as a parent or me as a parent would go in and allocate a certain amount of chores, allocate a certain amount of funding and things like that. It does have an option to where you do have to load money from your bank account or your debit card into this app for it to be able to push towards, push it out to your kids.
So I have it set to where it's linked to my bank account and regardless if I have money in the app or not, when their allowance is due, it'll pull from my bank account and it'll go ahead and pay them directly. That way I don't miss a payment. That way they're not about you know coming to me and saying, dad, you didn't pay me for the month of January or whatever. Trust me, it happens all the time where they'll be like, you didn't pay me for the last two months. And I'm like, I did pay you. I paid you for you know X number of months and all of a sudden we go kind of back and forth and things like that. But now we have this app, we can be more civilized parents and kids. So I do like the fact that you can also, in the chore section, you can do a weekly chore or you can do a one-time chore. So there's a special project you want them to work on, for example, you know, uh, in the fall or something, you know, you want them to rake some leaves and that's not part of the normal allowance. You can go ahead and set that as their one-time chore and maybe pay them to do something like that, uh, which is kind of nice. So overall, that's kind of the, the breakdown of how this app works. Now, when I downloaded it and I created an account for myself and my kids, I went ahead and ordered the credit card. It took about a week for the card to come in. This is a basic one where there's no picture, but if you go onto the app and order it, you can actually order the pit, you can order a card with their picture on it. And I believe it's 20 bucks to do that. I just thought it wasn't necessary. The blank card is per perfectly fine. And I will go ahead and link, um, the app down below if you guys use that and my referral code you'll get 10 bucks and of course i'll get 10 bucks as well so we kind of help each other out so make sure you use my link below to sign up and and go with this card i do want to mention uh that this app is free for the first month and after that they do have a charge of five dollars a month so keep that in mind it might be worth it for you it might not be worth it for you for me because i have multiple kids it just makes it so much easier to get organized and pay them this way and us and assign chores and things like that so again keep that in mind five bucks a month after your one month of free service so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time goodbye